Our top story tonight, a young girl is in the hospital seriously injured after a car crashed into her New Hampshire home. Police say speed and alcohol appear to have been factors in this crash. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Anna Ritis Rodriguez. Right now, the girl's father says she is in stable condition, but as WBZ's Ken McLeod reports, at one point they were unsure about her recovery. A five-year-old New Hampshire girl ate some chicken nuggets and managed to smile for her dad here at Tufts Medical Center this afternoon. Two indications she's on the mend from a freaky incident that nearly killed her. I was in complete panic. I didn't know what to do. Joseph Titroni was still a bit shaky as he described the events that critically injured his five-year-old daughter, Juliana. At one point, we weren't sure if she was even going to make it. It was Saturday afternoon when police say a man who was drunk and speeding veered off Silverbrook Road in Salem, snapped off a granite mailbox post, and careened into the family home, doing all sorts of damage. I don't understand how we could possibly have been going that fast. But the near fatal twist here was the other half of this granite post, which fell onto the Acura's hood and when the SUV hit the house, launched into the home like a missile. It went through my house, hit my daughter, went through the office door, went across our foyer to the other side of the house. I was sitting in my basement and I heard an explosion. The impact rattled neighbors and many scrambled over to help. I picked her up and I brought her outside and luckily there was other people there to help. It was a man fixing a neighbor's sprinklers who stopped the bleeding from an artery in Juliana's neck, very likely saving her life. Dad rode with his daughter to the hospital. And when the mother got home, it was just so heartbreaking to see. She was, um, she was a mess. A pediatric patient with a carotid neck injury. Once she was med flighted to Tufts, Juliana underwent emergency surgery to repair the artery, a broken jaw, and several deep facial cuts. I hope for my daughter to, to fully recover and, and for the scars to, to not look bad in her face. In the meantime, the house is unlivable for the rest of the family, and police are still pondering the exact charges against the suspect, who was found passed out and trapped in his car. I just can't even believe what we're all going through right now. Juliana still has a long recovery ahead, and family friends have launched a GoFundMe page with the hope of raising $30,000 to help with her medical bills. At Tufts Medical Center tonight, Ken McLeod, WBZ News.